And welcome back into HQ, your draft coverage here tonight. So here's the thing. The Nets were on the clock, as you can see, at number 19 overall with the selection. But we have a trade now involving three teams. Break yes. it down. And the Detroit Pistons are going to get their third top 20 pick. They, they've already taken Killian Hayes, seventh overall. They traded up to get Isaiah Stewart, 16th overall. They're going to get the 19th pick from the Nets. In exchange in this three-way trade, the Nets are going to get Landry Shamit. The Clippers are going to get Luke Kennard. So let's break this down. Bill Ryder, when you see the details of this trade, what's the name that stands out the most? Yeah, I mean, look, I like what the Pistons are doing, and obviously that general manager trying to build a young core. Kennard is the, is the name that, that stands out. That's a really nice piece for what obviously was an underperforming Clippers team last year. I know a lot of folks around the NBA like to evaluate guys over the course of their first three years. If you do that, if you buy the idea, you can see some growth and where a player might be heading. Kennard's a guy that went from average about seven points a game to about 12 to about 15 or 16 last year. He shoots 40%. In that range from the three-point line, he's what, 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. This is a guy that's going to knock down some shots and get some looks when you're having to worry about Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So I think it's a really nice piece for a Clippers team that absolutely has to make some noise this season. All right, well, the pick is in. It was supposed to be the Nets. Now it is the Pistons at number 19 overall. As you mentioned, their third selection in the top 20. And they're going to go with Sadiq Bey out of Villanova. And this is somebody our Matt Norlander was just tweeting about. He's out there in plain sight for anybody to take. Let's bring in Gary Parrish and get his thoughts and his grade on the selection. It's another... It's another A+. Plus. I mean, Sadiq Bay Woo. is a guy who's been best available on my board for several picks uh, um, you know, that have come off the board recently. This is somebody who is, uh, I believe, six spots better than anybody else on my board right now. I had him going 10th in my mock draft. So if you can get him way down here near the bottom of, of the top 20, I think you got to feel good about it. I guess I'll put it this way. I like this pick. Detroit's got three picks in the top 20. I like the one they did third more than I like the other two. All right, let's bring in the guy uh, who was tweeting about just this, Matt Norlander. You said he's out there in plain sight. Sure enough, they snatched him up. Why did he fall so far in your opinion, and how will he fit with his Pistons team? I have no idea why Sadiq Bey fell this far. I, there was no indication that this was to me that this was going to wind up happening and Bay would be there just at the back end of the teams. I, Amanda, I'd love to give you an answer. I don't have one. He clearly, in my opinion, is one of the 10 to 12 most NBA ready players in this relatively weak draft. And the fact that he was still there is a bit vexing. This this might be the best value of any team pick six to 20 at this point. Uh, just great length. Really good athleticism, wonderful teammate, high IQ, NBA-ready defender right now, and someone that I think is going to easily play through two contracts. So this is a huge win, and uh, beyond any pick beyond this would have just been madness, frankly. I thought he'd be gone by the 15th pick. He is gone here finally. Villanova turns out another pro. Jay Wright, uh, Jay Wright puts another one in. So, yeah, that's a huge Huge win. I know you don't want grades from me, but this is easily an A+. Plus. I mean, I, this is a tremendous value. Bay is going to, in my estimation, be one of the five or six most impactful rookies next season uh, once he gets into a uniform. I know some people in Dallas were a little bit upset. They did not take him. Let's bring in Avery Johnson to talk about this. An A-plus from Matt Norlander, an A-plus from Gary Parrish. This, again, was part of a three-way trade here. Who won out of this trade? technical difficulties with the uh, old Avery Johnson's mic. Uh, but here are the details of the trade, the three-way trade with the Pistons trading up to get Sadiq Bey, um, the Nets getting Landry Shamit, and the Clippers getting Luke Kennard. All right, let's go back to Avery. I think we got his audio working here. We mentioned the trade details here. Avery, what do you think about Sadiq Bey to the Pistons and who won out of this trade? Uh, definitely the Pistons. Uh, Sadiq Bey, uh, this is a kid that could have very well gone in the top 10. Um, this is an A. I agree with Gary and Matt. This is an A++++ for me. Uh, this kid is talented. Um, you know, when talking to Jay Wright, he's very coachable. And if you can play in Jay Wright's system, you, know, you can play anywhere. You know, Jay Wright had a chance 
to spend some time uh, with our national team, you know, as an assistant coach under Coach Greg Popovich. Uh, I coached against Jay Wright uh, two years ago when we lost to them in the second round uh, of the NCAA tournament in Pittsburgh. And so having a chance to dissect his coaching style and the way he develops his players and the culture that he had at Villanova and Sadiq fit right into that culture. He's got size, athleticism, uh, he can slash. Uh, you know, I, I love, I like his stroke. So I, I think Detroit Pistons definitely won with this trade. All right, an A-plus across the board for Sadiq Bey headed to the Pistons as part of that three-way trade. By the way, he was only 5'8", as a freshman in high school, jumped all the way up to 6'8". Must have been nice. Uh, in addition to the, the trade details uh, report from ESPN that uh, Rodney Magruder is also going to be involved in the trade. He's going to head with Luke Kennard to the L.A. Clip. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.